All right, so right now I wanna talk about transactional sex versus validational sex. And this is something that is very important because if you're in a relationship where you are having to exchange either money, favors, labor, in order for a woman to have sex with you, that is something we call transactional sex, okay? That is not the type of sex we want, okay? That is very, very beta type sex. That's, you know, along the lines of, uh, I feel sorry for you sex. The other type of sex is called validational sex, which is the only type of sex that you should have as a man. Because validational type of sex is the type of sex that a woman will have with you when she wants nothing from you, right? She doesn't want any money from you. She doesn't want any favors from you. She doesn't want you to do any hard labor for her. She just wants to have sex with you. Why? Because having sex with you, this alpha bad boy, this badass, will validate her. That's why we call it validational sex. She wants to have sex with you for validation, for bragging rights, right? Even if she doesn't brag to her girlfriends, she wants to be able to brag to herself and kind of like reflect upon it in her head, like, wow, this high value guy had sex with me. This like badass guy, this guy who's like way above me had sex with me, right? So those are the two kinds of sex that you can possibly have with a girl is transactional sex or validational sex. Now the thing about transactional sex is that is the type of sex that tends to get me too right? Me too That is the type of sex that where like, hey, I never said that I wanted to have sex with him and he took advantage of me. All of a sudden, me too, right? But does that ever have a validational sex? No, because the girl is thinking that like she got away taking something from you versus the other way around. Like this guy had sex with me, that's right, right? And the only way to have validational sex with a girl is to get her to chase your validation, right? You have to be that badass alpha bad boy that all these girls wanna have sex with, that all these girls want to peg down, right? And when she has sex with you, she's not gonna want anything from you. She doesn't care like if you don't pay for dinner, she doesn't care if you don't take her on any trips or if you don't show up till after midnight. That's why a lot of these girls, right, they have these like alpha chads in their life, especially in their 20s. That's when they're having like all this validational sex. And these are all the guys who are taking advantage of that period in her life, right? And uh, that's the only type of sex that you should have. I mean, for all you guys who are in these like sexless marriages where your women, your wife, is like holding, withholding sex from you and oh, I'm not gonna have sex with you unless you do these chores and take Joey to his little league baseball game. It is pathetic. You need to take a break from her and you need to come back as a new man, right? Where you've rediscovered your masculinity, your frame, and you're ready to apply that to your relationship where your wife or your woman or your girlfriend or your LTR is no longer having this transactional type of sex with you where you have to do favors and you know like kowtow to her and pedestalize her in order for her to pull her pants down. No, you want the type of validational sex where you walk in the door and she's attacking you, right? You get into a fight and instead of her like fighting back, she goes down on you. She goes, babe, babe, and then she goes down and she's like, I'm so sorry. And then she starts doing what she does, right? That's how you end an argument, right? But those are the things that these girls do for those alphas when it's validational sex and not transactional sex. This is why you never want to have that type of relationship ever with a girl. And if you do have that type of relationship now, you need to take a step back, son. You need to take a step back away from that relationship where you can rediscover your manhood, your masculinity, your frame, and you can come back as a new person, okay? You can come back as that dominant alpha badass that she first had sex with, okay? From the get-go, assuming it wasn't transactional, right? But those are the two types of sex you'll ever have with a girl is transactional and validational. Never have transactional sex with a girl. Never pay for it. It's pathetic. That's what losers do. That's why you got to learn game. You got to learn this stuff so you don't ever have to lower yourself to that. You only want to have validational sex with women. That's the type of sex that 
will really never get me too I've never heard a single case of validational sex getting me too it's only transactional sex where like some politician like did some intern a favor or you know some guy paid some prostitute or something like that and she came back at him <sighs> you never want to be in that position right or some uh, like Hollywood elitist offered some you know offered some up-and-coming actress a job in his new movie or you know some boss offered this new uh, this new candidate a position in his company if she did this for him you don't want to have that type of sex guys you don't need transactional sex it's beta it's for losers it's for guys who don't have game and you know what that shit gets me too eventually that shit will catch up to you okay that's why you only want to have validational sex with women Okay, that's why you gotta learn this stuff. You gotta learn pickup, you gotta learn game. You gotta get into seven months of mastery. As I've taught you guys, women will chase validation and abandonment. They'll literally chase validation to no end. Okay, to no end. They will constantly chase your validation. So, so as long as you don't validate them, as long, as long as you don't give it to them, they will chase your validation for years and years. I mean, there are girls that I approached way back in the late 90s early 2000s that are still like kicking their door open for me like at any point like they're just so excited to see me right at any point i want to have sex with them they're totally down to do it any point i want to take a trip go on a vacation anything like that I'm like hey girl what's up okay let's go when you know they'll take time off for work for me right and they're not expecting anything a lot of these girls will like pay for half the trip they'll be like oh i'll take care of dinner in a hotel you just drive i'm like really that's it okay cool right it's called validational sex right that's a validational style relationship is where the girl's getting validated because she's with me versus transactional where you're having to pay for it you know and I, I get haters in the comments from time to time down below being like oh you you older guys going for these younger women they're just using you for your money they're just using you for money it's like dude you're pathetic it's like just because you would do that just because if you were younger, you would use guys for money. doesn't mean all girls out there are as low class as you are. It doesn't mean all girls out there are prostitutes like you are, you know, because there hasn't been a single girl in their late teens, early 20s that I've dated that has ever asked me for a dime, has ever asked me to pay for anything. Oh, could you pay my bills, Matt? No, they've never asked for anything. I've dated some of these girls don't even have that great a job, right? I was dating a Starbucks barista and she still wanted to take me out to dinner. This girl still wanted to take me like on her little trips and stuff like that. And she was totally willing to pay. I mean, she didn't have the money to do it. You know, I didn't take advantage of her, by the way. I don't take advantage of people. But at the same time, I don't let people take advantage of me. So, you know, and I'm very aware of that, those transactional versus validational style relationships right as you should be as you should be but it's always funny when I get these haters below like oh these girls just using you for your money blah 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 and just trying to get you to pay for things like this you think we're stupid you think we're out there paying for these girls we don't because we don't have transactional relationships we have validational relationships where they're just with us because they want to be with us because it validates them it makes them feel like they are higher value by being with a higher value male right so all you haters below go eat crow right all right till next time this is M from the 33 secrets do not forget to smash that like button below also hit that notification bell right next to it so you're notified whenever I release a brand new coaching video here on YouTube so make sure you hit that notification bell as well and for you guys who want to support my work and all of this red pill content I'm teaching you guys even further, the best way to do that is by jumping into my monthly online coaching program, Seven Months to Mastery, where I'm teaching guys just like you how to go out there and approach and close the youngest, hottest, and most beautiful looking women on the planet. I am talking about eights, nines, and tens only, okay? Eights, nines, and tens. I teach you guys how to go out there and find, meet, and attract the youngest, hottest, and most highest caliber women out there, okay? I am a professional pickup artist. I've been doing this my entire adult life, you know, for the last two plus decades, believe it or not. And I've taught thousands of guys all around the world, thousands of very successful guys who've gone on to uh, very successful relationships with very attractive women. Uh, some of these guys send me photos. I'm super jealous when I see some of these girls. I'm like, oh, 
oh, I taught you, I taught you, right? And some of these guys have even married these girls, right? Some of these guys have like found some really cool girls and uh, have sent me photos, have done, we've done video chats together with a the girl they've met, you know, thanks to my programs and my teachings. And uh, a lot of these chicks are just super cool. Like I said, sometimes I even get jealous. I'm like, man, where did you dig this chick up? She is so hot. She is so cool. She is so nurturing. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just insane. But uh, this is the stuff I teach you in Seven Months to Mastery, right? This is probably the only red pill pickup program, game program that you'll find out there, okay? I'm probably the only pickup artist you'll find out there that is actually teaching not only pickup and dating advice, but red pill pickup and dating advice. So you can protect yourselves out there. So you know what you're getting yourself into. Okay, that's what makes my program so unique and so valuable. And guess what? The first month is only a buck. Okay, it's only $1 for the entire first month of coaching lessons. So take advantage of it while you still can. Okay, it's only $1 for the entire first month. And all you need to do is click that link below in my description box. It will take you over to my website where you can get signed up right now. It just takes two seconds. So do that now and I will see you in my next coaching video.